The bounce attack is an attack that's used with an FTP server to be able to send traffic to a third device that may be on the network somewhere. It's a very old type of attack. It was discussed in 1995. If you follow this URL, you can read a very long overview of exactly how the bounce attack works down to the detailed level across the network. This uses something called passive mode FTP, where the client is initiating both the command and the data that's being sent to an FTP server. So you're telling the server what to do. And that's the secret behind this FTP bounce attack. You can tell the server to send a file. But instead of sending it to me that you would normally do with FTP, you can tell the server to send the file a completely different place. That allows you now to have a way to send data to a third party that didn't come from you. It came from an FTP server. It's hard to find this vulnerability being used anywhere on a modern FTP server. Practically all of the FTP servers know about this. They all, by default, have that particular feature turned off. But if you turn off or you misconfigure this feature on an FTP server, it can be susceptible to the FTP bounce attack. Here's how this bounce attack works. Let's say we are a source machine out on the network. There is an FTP server here, and that FTP server is one, obviously, that is susceptible to this FTP bounce attack. And then there's this destination workstation over here that's minding its own business, but we're going to send some data to that device. You would do that once you initiate the FTP session by sending a command to our FTP server that's a port command. And notice the port command would normally have our IP address inside of it. But instead of 192.168.0.8, we want this data to go to 192.168.0.5. So we're going to send a port command with the 192.168.0.5 and then the port numbers that we're going to send this traffic on. And then we're going to send the command that we would like to pass through to that device. And there we're sending that command. So now we're sending a send to port 135, a send ACADAC, and then it performs that list command. We could just as easily send a file to that device over a particular port number. Maybe that file has commands that would take advantage of services that were running on that dot five machine. Once that is finished, the FTP server responds back, hi, I did that. Just to let you know, I just took advantage of that machine that's out there. You can see why the FTP bounce attack is one that FTP server manufacturers and programmers very quickly wrote software to make sure that you could not take advantage of these third-party workstations.